I'm Dan Ackerman, and we are here taking a look at the Toshiba Portage Z835. Now, that is an Ultrabook, and it looks pretty familiar. You might go, what, didn't we already look at this uh, laptop? We did. That was the Z835 P330 model. This is a P370 model, and the difference is that first one was $800, a fantastic value considering it had a 128 gig SSD and was really the least expensive Ultrabook that we have seen to date. This more expensive version uh, is about $1,050. We've seen it for a little bit less. The big difference is the original had an Intel Core i3 CPU. That's how they managed to save some money. Uh, this version just has a mainstream Core i5 CPU, very similar to what we've seen in other Ultrabooks. So how does this new version stack up against the competition? And there is a lot of Ultrabook competition now. Performance-wise, it's just fine. It's got the same Core i5 CPU as a lot of these other Ultrabooks. It actually has six gigs of RAM versus four in a lot of other models. But at the same time, we forgave a lot of the design things that we didn't like so much about this particular laptop in the $800 version because it was so inexpensive. When you have the same exact body with the same problems and it's $1,000, well then you say to yourself, I could get the HP version or the Dell version uh, for even less and that's actually a nicer overall experience. I think our main complaints here are that is, is that the lid, a lot of flex there on the lid, keyboard very shallow keys, uh, especially the space bar, very short there. I missed it a lot while typing. And the uh, touchpad uh, did multi-touch gestures okay, but these uh, left and right mouse buttons are uh, very plasticky and clacky. Uh, a lot of the other Ultrabooks have a, a click pad where they build the mouse button features right into a big pad. They did, however, throw in Bluetooth, so you're also getting a little bit extra uh, for your thousand bucks versus your 800. Uh, that said, as a bargain basement Ultrabook, we liked uh, the Z835 a lot. As one that's priced the same as pretty much all the other guys, I think there are nicer looking ones out there. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that is the Toshiba Portage Z835.